Hello everybody and welcome to your general collective Aquarian reading. Um, so, before I get into what I'm going to say next, I just want to be the first to tell you that you're so beautiful, you're so needed in this world. Thank you for being here and thank you for sharing your time and your energy with me. I value you. The divine values you. And thank you so much for being here and hanging out with me. Even the ones who my, re my readings have no resonance with. Will you watch me to go to sleep or watch me to have coffee? Any way that you want to be in my life, I also want you in mine. And thank you so much. Um, today's reading is about a song I channeled by Shania Twain. And it's called, I, you, Still the One or You're Still the One. And uh, I will put the song with the link, uh, with the lyrics in the description box below. And I basically just keep hearing, you know, you're, you're still the one that I want in my life um, for life. That's like what I keep hearing. Now, it can be someone, um, it can be a best friend, it can be a relationship, it, you know, in the pre-shuffle. You know, you and this person have went through troubles, but you guys have, you know, come through these troubles. Or if you guys, you know, have um parted ways you guys have found your way back so you know you can take this as friendship love even a marriage that's had issues or a long-term relationship but it's like you're still the one you're still the one that i come back to you're still the one that i want in my life for life you know that type of that type of energy so i'm going to say a quick prayer and then we'll get into your reading our Father in Heaven, I'd like to thank you for the many blessings that you've given to myself and the fellow Aquarians here. I'd like to give much gratitude for all the people that you've brought to me through my channels and thank you so much. I truly appreciate them because only you are the one who could have guided these people to me. I'd like to ask for protection for myself and for the fellow Aquarians and cross watchers that are here. Protection from evil eye, harm, illness for ourselves and for our loved ones. I'd like to ask permission to be able to see into this reading, um, to have insight and clarity for those who need need my light to shine upon the situation. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So I'm going to start off um, with the Lover's Oracle, the Wisdom of the Oracle. I have two tarot decks, Light Seers, the Gilded, and then I'm going to close out with the um, Enchanted Map like I normally do for advice. So let's see. I've done a pre-shuffle and everything, and I've cleansed the deck. So let's just see what wants to come out here for this reading. Show me what I need to see for the Aquarian reading. Wow, right off the bat, soulmate. Anything else? You know, soulmate. Wow, that's a lot. Um, you know, some people think your soulmate is your life person, but it, there's many different kind of soulmates, right? But the first card and the strongest card is soulmate, and it says your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically, but whoever this is, you already know that they're the one. They already know that you're the one, okay? You guys end up in, in each other's life, or you guys stay in each other's life. It's a constant, it's a permanent person in your life, okay? Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. So know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. And I, before the reading started, you know, I should have just said it. Spirit had said to me, um, you know, Colleen, there's going to be some people who are meeting the one too. So there are going to be some of you um, who are meeting someone and they're going to be in your life for a very long time. Okay. And you might rely on each other. In whatever kind of way, all right? And if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. I believe for those of you who have not met this person who's going to be um, in your life, you know, long term, whether it's a friend, a lover, a spouse, do what you truly love to do because you may meet them doing that. That's how I take that card. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. And that is definitely, you know, <laughs> if you're guided to do something, go somewhere. Try something new. All right, do that. Follow your heart. Your heart knows the way. And my beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we're always united. For love transcends space and time and nothing is missing. So just know that this person that you rely on, they rely on you. You are always together, even if you haven't met yet. 
even if you guys have had troubled times, even if you guys have been in and out in each other's lives, even if there are times where you might not have liked the person, okay, but this is not going to be that that karmic person, but this is a person who there could be challenges with. This is a person who you may not have met yet, okay, keep this in mind, but in soul, you're with each other. Show me what I need to see here with this Wisdom of the Oracle. Show me what I need to see for this Aquarian reading. Show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need. Oh, going to, <laughs> moving, literally moving to a better place. Whatever that means. Energetically could also be physically moving to a better place. Physically would be great for me. Okay, here and now. Anything else? Oh my god. I got yin and yang together. What? Fork in the road. Okay, that may be literally doing what you love to do that puts you in alignment with another person. But some of you are about ready to meet that forever person. Okay? The one... You're going to want to be in their life. They're going to want to be in your life for for life. Um, because we got come to the edge, and that's about there. All right? Literally, what might be holding you back is going and doing some of the things that you love to do. You might just meet that person there. Um, I do have cards that say reconciliation. They didn't pop out. So I'm just, you know, keep an open mind, all right? I feel in your heart, Aquarians, you're going to know who this is. And if you haven't met them yet, you're going to meet them soon. This is practicing the here and the now. This is sitting in silence, being in stillness, listening to the tiniest noises in silence. This is when you think you're alone, but you're not. Just literally be in the presence of spaciousness, which is what I'm learning from Eckhart Tolle. And the future hasn't happened. The past isn't something you can revisit. But where do the majority of your thoughts go to? Are your thoughts on the future? Are your thoughts on the past? Are your thoughts on things that bother you? I mean, really, where are your thoughts at? Because a lot of what is on your mind is what gets manifested or gets us stuck or something like that but being in the here and the now she's up there where there's no noise it's just her and consciousness consciousness i can't speak right you guys already know that it's her and consciousness it's the present moment and if you notice being in the present moment is what opens the door you see how that door opens by being in the present moment she didn't have to go after anything it just appeared it just appeared and what's going to appear yin and yang the one the one i dream of the one i kiss goodnight the one i want in my life for life the one you're the one they're the one it's about ready to happen that's a lot of like the fool energy too. You know how the fool jumps off the cliff, knows that everything will be all right because spirit has the fool's back, right? God has your back on this. This is aligning with the one. Being in the here and the now. Stillness and silence. Spaciousness with God, creator, the universe opens the door brings the opportunity let's get into the tarot i'm excited here very rarely i get those cards that come out together like that that's strong that's powerful the song is strong and powerful it's a song from the what the 90s show me what i need to see for this reading for aquarius keep in mind if you are a cross watcher someone watching for an aquarius you can flip the roles but I have two energies here. So I have yin and I have yang. Chariot reverse. Something that was on hold. Something that was um, on a pause. Something that hasn't come in yet. But you guys 
already in spirit here. That's this card. You guys are already in spirit. Soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. So, And that will be when this card turns right side up. It happens quicker when you're in the here and the now. Meditation is the fastest key to this type of um, energy to come in here. That's the bottom of the deck, but I'll put it right there. Give me another card to clarify that. You guys are already in each other's space when it comes to the astral realm. The, phys the physical realm will be next. Show me what I need to see. That's how it's playing out right now. Now, there could be someone in your life that you guys count on each other, but so far it's showing up in this reading that your forever person, like the love that she talks about in the song, is coming, that it hasn't happened yet, but you are together in the 5D and it is not karmic. It's divine. It's healthy. And it's meant for you, Aquarius. The star card. It's a wish fulfillment when it does happen for you. Major Arcana, we got Aquarius. We got the chariot, which is Cancer. What's another aspect to this reading? What's another aspect to this reading? Well, I feel that you go from the 5D to the 3D. Okay. And this is where silence is broken and you finally meet. This is intuition, this is silence, this is telepathic, this is intuition, this is the third eye. But it's silence like this. This is this grounding, being in silence, listening, being guided. But it's in the reverse. The silence gets broken. So let's see where this goes to. That's a card of Pisces, Virgo. Show me what I need to see with that High Priestess card in reverse. What is that High Priestess in reverse trying to say? Three of Wands reverse. Hmm. Um... It's very interesting here. Well, remember when I said that this could be somebody who you guys sometimes might have hiccups in the road, challenges, you know, could have been, you know, on or off or at some point. For some of you, that could be this. For some of you, this can be somebody that um, you haven't seen, all right? Or it could be somebody that you... Um, Things were broken off, you know. Um, like, let's just say how some people say, look, we're having struggles. We're having problems in our relationship. Let's just sort of break off for a while. And let's just see, or if we date other people, let's just make sure that we really want this or something like that. It's like a break of some sort. And then it's like somebody is like, comes back. You're still the one. You're still the one I want. You're still the one. Um, I want for life, the one I kiss goodnight. And literally that can be a metaphor of, you know, a person can go to sleep even if you're with not with them and they could in, energetically kiss you goodnight by saying, look, you know, goodnight Aquarius. I'm, we're not together, but goodnight. I'm saying goodnight to you because this is someone that it's like you haven't heard from and then I'm hearing charge. You're like you hear from them and it's, and it's, they're showing up as a knight. You're showing up as a queen or king here, but they're not, they're showing up as night energy, but they're also showing up as not wanting uh, to be single, but they're, they're not in a king of pentacles status. Um, there's something here that they're missing. I don't know what it is, but it's them definitely coming. It's like you're the one. 
maybe they the, what they're missing is they don't have the you know maybe they don't even know what to say let me grab this other deck here why is this three of wands in reverse I mean, it can be a traveling card, and I do have the Eight of Wands reverse. It could be somebody needs to travel to you to literally say this, okay? Because it's not like a type of thing that you say in a text message either. You know what I mean? Can you imagine that? You know, it'd be like a drunk text if that were the case. You know, somebody just texts you, you know, you're still the one. You're still the one I think of, the one I dream of, the one I kiss goodnight. You know, just that type of energy is not really good in a text message that's like a face-to-face -face energy so someone might literally need to travel toward you to say this tell me what that three of wands is trying to say what's the three of wands trying to say clarity please yeah i just said that face to face thank you spirit face to face this is a face to face conversation to let you know something here that you're still the one. Still the one that I dream of. Still the one that I kiss goodnight. Could be still the one that you know they think of you. And like I said, somebody might not have been ready. The Emperor reverse. The Three of Wands. Is that three or two? Three of Wands upright and the Ten of Swords reverse. Somebody might have literally wanted to see what else was out there to explore in the world, you know, to be sure. And some time could have went by. We got the Knight of Pentacles there, Virgo energy. And we got the world, which is fixed energy. Somebody literally, I feel, wanted to sort of even maybe travel. Even if it wasn't like seeing if there was something else out there better. Hold on, I dropped a card. But like travel the world, you know, before they settle down even. Some people do want to do that. They do want to travel the world. They do want to see other things sometimes they're people they want to know what they what they want before they settle down and have kids this could be something to that anyway let's move on it's a general reading let's get to the root why are we here why are we here let's get to the root why are we here but it is yin and yang you cannot deny that the begin the first cards out are the most powerful This is Four of Cups Reverse. Four of Cups Upright, somebody basically got everything they asked for, didn't really want it, and poured it all out. And that is, for me, like pouring everything out, excuse me, starting over. It's like, I don't uh, want what I have here. I just want to start over. Um, and somebody may, someone's making some sort of plan here to come uh, talk to you okay face to face face to face and if they have to travel well they're going to travel to do it tell me about the four cups tell me about the four cups judgment yeah it's a decision that they've made here because they're in love and they want it this is the for life card right here you're still the one, the one I dream of, the one I love, the one I want to be with for life. This page of pentacles reverses behind it because they haven't had this conversation with you yet. But they definitely want to change things. They've decided. Whatever they saw in the world or they got to travel or they got to explore whatever it was they wanted to explore. And at the end of the day, every day it comes back to you. You're still the one. How does that feel, Aquarius? You're still the one. What's the past energy between you and this person? What's the past energy? What's the past energy here? What's the past energy? Okay. Could have. Hmm. Past energy. Somebody, you know, we got the Four of Swords on the bottom. It's reverse. We have the Lovers reverse, and we have the King of Pentacles and the Upright. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Gemini energy. And this is like a decision was made, all right? The past was about maybe somebody wanted to work on their stability, you know? Maybe somebody um, wanted to get all their ducks in a row. Somebody wanted to maintain 
or achieve a certain level of wealth before they got even into a connection because we have a person by themselves here with a dog and looking at this other connection even though this is a great connection this is almost like but it's important that I have this wealth it's important that I am at a certain place in life before I even focus on that so because like I said they were showing up as night energy so they weren't ready for some reason and that could have literally been because they wanted to be more established in life let's clarify why is the king of pentacles here in the upright what's the king of pentacles trying to say what's the king of pentacles trying to say success and it's kind of sideways here so you know you guys are spending time together in the 5d the 3d dreaming about each other whatever okay and i feel like this was always meant to happen okay it's sideways but this person was working on their success very very um clear here the six of wands is about success and success is not something that you build and you just stay there it goes very much with this six of wands because even though that we have victory right we're successful but we have to keep at it if we don't keep working on the things the abundance whatever we're trying to build for our life if we don't keep at it it can just we can lose it it can go to the wayside so quite literally somebody wasn't ready um but you're still the one they weren't ready for whatever reason could have been different for each each person they could have wanted to make sure that you were the one they could have wanted to um build more of a legacy build more finances they could have wanted to travel and see the world because if they settle down you know they don't want to be uh you know always traveling if you guys make a family or something like that together you know maybe there's a reason behind it tell me about the lovers reverse so i feel that it wasn't the right timing for them they also showed up as more immature they do they did show up as immature yeah and now they want this commitment lifetime they want this here font taurus strong taurus energy right there but anyways taurus energy virgo capricorn energy it's a higher level commitment it's lifetime it's it's what I want now. I want this commitment now. So that's what is clarifying this. All right. So what's the goal then? What's on what's on their mind? Because this is somebody else directed at you. Somebody that you are in connection with in the 5D. Or I should say it is the yang to the yen. So if you are the Yang Aquarius, you would be going after the Yen. Or if you are the Yen Aquarius, the Yang would be coming after you. What is the goal of the Yang? Virgo energy. This is a knight, but it's the best knight of the deck because it's a knight who takes their time. They get to the finish line because they make sure they have all their ducks in a row. And I was literally guided to say ducks in a row. This person doesn't achieve King of Pentacles status unless they are the Knight of Pentacles first. This is a person who would have started planning from a young age and charting out their life, how they wanted it to go and where they wanted to be. I want to be at this level of, you know, wealth and abundance and achievement by this age or before I get married, I want this or I want to see the world. I want to travel before I settle down. It's, it's someone who literally has had a plan and had their ducks in a row before they wanted to settle down but now they're ready to settle down is what it's showing now you see all this stuff that they've accumulated back here and gathered now they're walking to the finish line now they're achieving this give me uh, a card to clarify that knight of pentacles Why is that a Ten of Swords, though? Okay, so whew, we have the Empress in reverse on the bottom of the deck. All right, that is the Yin energy. And we have the Five of Swords. So they may need to make peace with you, all right? Because maybe you were ready to have a loving, long-term connection here. Um, 
and they weren't. So then you would have turned your love back inwards to yourself. And this person has taken a while. So you might be looking at it as, you know, you sort of wanted to go out there and see what was in the world, meaning you, I wasn't good enough for you. So that kind of energy, King of Wands energy, wanting to see, you know, really wanting to see what kind of person they wanted to spend the rest of their life with if they didn't want to just literally travel. But it's taken a while. So for them, they're looking at it. The yang is looking at it like, I'm ready to settle down with my yen. Let's just say, for instance, Aquarius. I'm ready to settle down. I've done these things, and you're still the one I come back to. I don't care. I've dated other people. You're still the one I think of. I've traveled. I've imagined traveling with you. Um... And then Aquarius or the Yen might be looking at this as like, yeah, but you know, you were choosing other things over me. So I kind of feel betrayed. I kind of feel like second best. I kind of feel like, you know, I understand that this is what you wanted, but I also understand like, you know, how do I really know that this is not the energy you're no longer in? So somebody might have to prove themselves and somebody might have to forgive <laughs> quite honestly here. But at the end of the day, you know, you're still the one. Nobody else does it for them, for the Yang. What's the future? What's the future here? Somebody wants to sow some seeds. Um, you know, this was a, co a, a close connection. And it didn't get off the ground. This was a close connection that got a, sort of got left out in the cold here. That got abandoned. It literally, a close connection that got dropped or lost. Um, literally, four of swords reversed, now the seven of wands reversed. So this was a connection that literally got dropped and lost. And in the future, I feel somebody surrenders here and comes forward. Because the four of swords is reversed, so that to me is, is some forward movement because the four swords upright is more like ghosting. There's no movement. And the seven of wands is, you know, um, dropping that barrier, dropping, surrendering. Because somebody feels left out in the cold without this close connection. And you're the close connection. They don't feel your energy anymore. So they're probably wondering if you guys can, you know, grow something here. Start over. They might have enough saved if it was about money. But they're also, trust me, in their mind, they're, worrying, they're worried that you're going to cut them off or reject them. They're expecting to receive bad news. They're expecting to come in and you just say, no, I don't want this because you betrayed me. This is what they're expecting. But for them, it's not... For them, they didn't look at it as trying to be this way on purpose. They really wanted to make the right decision for long term because when they commit long term, they're going to commit long term. So it's a bittersweet. It's a bittersweet. You know, they didn't want to get involved in a long term connection and then, you know, cheat. They wanted to take care of all these things before they settled down. Now they're ready, but they are worried about how you look at it now because I think you were ready before. But, it, you know, at the end of the day, you're still the one. So, I'm just the messenger here. What's the self-position? What's the self-position? Yep. Three of cups reverse. Okay. Why is the Three of Cups reversed? Is that hanging up the party shoes? Or is that them? somebody's worried about no reunion? What is this? Page of Swords, Six of Cups. Okay, so they want to know if you still feel the same way. If you still want to reunite. If you still feel close with them. Or if this was also the closest connection you've ever felt. They're very curious to know this. What's the environment? What's the environment? Four of Wands reverse. So the environment is you're currently not in union with this person. You're currently not 
celebrating or doing anything with this person, okay? The environment is four of wands reversed. This close connection is not in a connection, okay? It's not in a connection right now, okay? This is what someone is thinking about you. You're still the one. Or like I said, Yang, Yang is thinking about Yen. Give me a card for that four of wands reverse. Yeah, decision. They really want to know, you know, does Aquarius still want this with me? Or Aquarius wants to know, do you still want this with me? It's the Yang want, wanting to know. Very curious to know. And maybe somebody is sort of like on the, you know, someone's right here when it comes to reaching out. They're on the verge of reaching out because they just really don't know. Whoever this is is not going to know until they come out and, you know, break the silence. Because at the end of the day, if they were the ones who disconnected, okay, and they were the ones who want to reconnect, for whatever reason, it's going to be different why they disconnected. And I know, I've seen so many comments. I know I've had so many readings like this, but this person, you know, um, if I was this person's defense I would be saying that this person really did want to make sure when they committed, they committed for, for permanent, permanently, right? Not to commit to break a vow or whatever. So this person literally wanted to get traveling out of the way, literally wanted to make sure that they had done all the things they said they would do. Because like I said, it's an, it's an organized person, I feel, someone who wants their ducks in a row. So they really... If I were to defend this person, you know, I would be like, hey, they be, they are going to commit and they're going to be solid, but they wanted to do these things first. And I feel that you entered their life before they got to do these things. And I feel you were ready, but they weren't. But I feel now they are, like I said. And it's like at the end of the day, after this time has gone by, after they've had all these experiences and it's still you. But so there's curious to know, does Aquarius want this too? Does Aquarius still feel this way about me too? Tell me about, uh, give me another card for that four ones. Yeah, lovers, it's a close connection here. But it quit. This was a very close connection that you and this person had. All right, but it quit. The environment was, you know, the environment is, they're really not sure with this two of pentacles. If you want to have a union, a reunion, they're not sure if you how you view them, if you view them as somebody who wants to still deal with other people. So this is kind of, it's about their thoughts. It's the, This is what the environment is. Them thinking all of these things before they approach. All right, what's the hope and the fear? And you just might be doing your Zen thing. You know, I just feel like you might be doing your Zen thing, sitting in silence, being patient, practicing presence, and this person's like about ready to reach out. Eight of Pentacles reverse and talk about a lack of focus here. All right. So the Emperor wants a relationship. The Yang wants a relationship. That's the hope. The fear is... This lack of pentacles, this lack of eight of pentacles, maybe you don't want it as well, okay? Maybe you don't need it. Maybe you don't need what they're offering, whether it's a relationship, money, working together, whatever. Maybe you don't need it. Tell me about the eight of pentacles reverse. Or maybe they, the magician, Virgo energy. So I've got Virgo and Aries here. And Gemini down here, Scorpio. I've got a lot of these signs here, and uh, Leo, King of Wands, Taurus, and all this. But let me tell you, this person doesn't know if they have all of the tools, all of the skills, all of something. Okay, this person's fear. You know, these can even be boxes checked off. Okay. Maybe you check off all the boxes for this person, but maybe they don't check off all the boxes for you. I mean, it, it's a, it's in the hope and the fear. They're hoping for this. They're hoping that you guys can move beyond the past, all right? 
they're hoping that things can come um, in accord, in accord together. All right, this is sort of a decision that they're making to come forward here, but maybe they feel they're missing something. What is this? Why is this magician here? Because they're looking at the magician. Why is the magician here? Two of Swords reverse. Then maybe they're not sure about something here. Tell me about this Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so that's your energy. So maybe they're thinking that you're thinking that they're not ready for this. Or that they won't give you focus. You know, maybe they're feeling like it will be the way it was before. Because maybe they didn't focus, focus on this before. They're really worried about what you think. Because I'm telling you, they want this now. And it's not that they didn't want it before. But this person had a plan and an order in how they were going to live their life. And they were going to do certain things before they settled down. Now they've done these things. Now they want to settle down. It was very important to this person. So this person might be a little bit OCD when it comes to be, things being a certain way before other things can come along into their life. Like it might really be a very important and necessary thing in the way that their brain operates. But their fear is now you, won't, you don't want it. Their fear is now maybe you don't feel the same way. Because you're the one not focusing on them. You are the one. Eight of Pentacles reverse. Aquarius reverse. You're the one not focusing on them. And now they want this. What's the likely outcome according to this energy? I do understand that free will is the number one source here. When it comes to a decision. Because not even God gets involved in our free will. So the way this reading is going today. What does the outcome look like? Well, okay. Gaining some sort of perception here. Okay, perspective. Pisces, reverse. Five of Wands, judgment, reverse. Pluto, energy. Pisces, energy. Five of Wands. So the bottom line is it's, it's going to have a lot to do with you wondering if they've changed or not. We have the Empress in reverse. So that's you. If you are Yen, you are, you know, the Yen is going to be now like, I don't know, have they changed? Do they still have others? You're going to be trying to, if you're the Yen energy, you're going to be trying to gain that perspective here. Because you don't want to go through this again. So I feel like you already had to lose this person once and you don't want to lose this person again. And you're looking at it like that. You might have finally got to a place in your life where you're doing okay without this person. Then this person comes back and it's like, well, it was something you would have wanted. It is your divine counterpart. They weren't ready specifically, but it was, like I said, I don't want to keep being a broken record, but they'll be permanent in your life now. They literally had a way, a certain thing or set of order of way that they wanted to do things before they settled down. I just would it really strongly suggest for this reading. And uh, we have Archangel Michael here. You know, the Temperance Angel, Sagittarius Energy. Again, we have Aries and Scorpio with this tower. And depending on this decision here, your decision is based on a lot about, does this person want this forever? Yeah, they do. They want it forever. They have did all whatever they said they were going to do. They've soared their wild oats. They've traveled the world. They've partied their ass off like whatever they wanted to do they've done it now they're ready to do the damn thing that they always said they would do in their mind and settle down but you're not so sure if they have ascended you're not so sure if they have somebody else or not and this is the per this is the the vision you're trying to gain the perspective you're trying to gain here Give me a card for the outcome, and then we'll get some advice. Give me a card for the outcome. All right. So... 
The advice is go for your happiness, Eight of Cups. Meaning the person walks away from the Eight of Cups to expand on their happiness. To go to the Nine of Cups and then ultimately to the Ten of Cups. So going to the Nine of Cups is basically saying, Aquarius, do what you wish to do. Because Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. So no matter where you are at in life right now, Aquarius, go to the direction that makes you happiest, okay? Your Nine of Cups. Go to your wish fulfillment, whatever that is. If it's this person, go to that person. If it's not that person, it's something else you started going toward, then do that. It's whatever makes you happiness. Go to your Nine of Cups. We have the Moon here. We have the Nine of Wands. And we have the Three of Swords. And the truth of the matter is, with this Nine of Cups, I mean with this Eight of Cups here, the truth of the matter is in your emotional self, in your heart here, you still got feelings for this person. You have feelings for this person, regardless of whatever happened. And with this Nine of Wands, you may be wanting to try something different. Try it. Give it another chance here. That's not for everyone, but that is what's here. So, let's get some advice. With some of you, be walking toward another, uh, another Nine of Cups because... You may still see this person as a player and having options. It goes both ways. It goes both ways. Because that nine of ones can be a player. That nine of ones can be giving it another chance here. But either way, it doesn't matter. You do, you, you, you do have feelings, deep feelings for this person. Pisces, Cancer, Energy. You have deep feelings for this person regardless of the history there. What's the advice for this reading? What's the advice for this reading, please? It's intention, and it's 22. You might be seeing 222 two, two a lot because we also have two and we have one there. Um, so let's just see what it says. 22. I'll hold it in the upright, but it is reverse. Intention, deliberate, clear intentions have the power to change the world. But it's in the reverse. Are you clear about your intentions or are you foggy in a foggy state of denial about your true motives and or true ambitions? This is a time to step back and gain perspective and clarity about your direction. Well, that's what you're trying to do. This is a card of perspective. So this is a time when this opportunity comes in to gain some sort of perspective about the situation, about your motives, about the ambitions. Check your motives and ask if they are sincere. Are you pursuing some goal blindly without asking its costs? Good intentions are being misinterpreted. Now is the time for self-evaluation and self-nurturing. You will benefit greatly if you take time out to regroup. So it's saying, you know, you, you don't have to make this decision overnight. Ask the right questions. Also go with what you feel inside you need perspective and, and you know, and it looks like you need to know, is it just me? Are there other people? Are you serious about settling down? Are you serious? Has this happened? Have you let go of the others? Um, if there were others, have you traveled? Have you done? And that's, some people, you can still travel and be in a relationship, but maybe this person is like, they don't want to be traveling all over the place. Like they might have had a plan, you know, they're going to do this. Then when they settle down with the one they want to be with, they'll settle down with that person possibly, but it's, it's something about you need to know if they've changed because before they were in night energy and now they are in a King of Pentacles energy. Um, but it's all up to you. And this has been coming out. It's different. It's different stories, but it's the same stories because, you know, Aquarians have suffered and there are people dealing with Aquarians who have suffered, and I feel that there's going to be changes this year because of all that. And things are either going to get on the right track with that person, or you're just both going to move on and go find other people or do whatever. You know, it's going to be, I think this is going to be like a make it or break it year for a lot of people. Look, hey, we're going to do this thing, or we're not going to do this thing and move on. Anyway, guys, I love you. I'll see you in your next reading, and namaste, my friends.